So remdesivir is a drug that was first developed for Ebola and shown to not be very effective. And um, recently it's been trialed to see if it might work for COVID-19. So in the last week, a large study, the first one of its kind, a double-blind randomized um, placebo-controlled study was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. So basically around 1,000 uh, patients were enrolled, all of them that tested positive for COVID-19 and that had lower respiratory symptoms. So all of those patients were randomly assigned to two categories. So those that would receive the drug and those that didn't. Now, the doctors and researchers running the study uh, were not aware of um, who was given which treatment, and that helps to make sure that they have a really unbiased uh, recording of what happens with the patient's symptoms. So they followed the patients and looked at what happened to them after they give either the drug or the placebo, and, and they looked at sort of three aspects of that response. And the first was duration of illness. So people who were given the drug had a shorter duration. So they were sick for only 11 days versus 15 days for the individuals who had been given the placebo. And remember, these numbers are on average. So that was on average across the groups. Um, they also looked at severity. So um, if they categorized who had severe disease, 21% of the people with um, being given remdesivir had severe disease, whereas 27% who, had given, who were given the placebo had severe disease. And then lastly, they looked at death rates. So death rates were slightly lower for those on the drug, so 7% and 11% for those who had been given the placebo. So therefore, this study shows some evidence that remdesivir can uh, shorten the duration, lessen the severity, and reduce death rates. But as you can tell by those numbers, it's not like an instant cure-all drug. Um, so it might help, but it's not going to you know, stop, uh, stop this infection in its tracks in all patients. Um, so more studies are going to be needed to look at potentially different dosing strategies and the impact of this drug on different types of patients. Mm -hmm.